Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I make videos about simplified medical explanation. I try to give you information about your health conditions, why you get sick and how you can get better. And all information given in this channel is most authentic and latest information which is internationally accepted and directly referenced from the US National Medical Library. So you can trust the information. Today I am going to talk about vitiligo, vitiligo and what causes vitiligo, why there are some depigmented patches on the skin of various people which you see, sometimes the patches have no pigments, sometimes the patches are white, sometimes they are just light skin colored patches, but what is the reason behind all these patches, what is the cause? Are there any diseases which are associated with them? Are there very symptoms? And what is the treatment? Is there any test? And what can you do about it? So let's understand vitiligo today. Let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, vitiligo is a skin condition in which there is a loss of color from the area of a skin. So the pigment is decreased or lost. This results in a uneven white color patch that has no pigment. But this skin but the skin above feels normal. It feels normal except the color is lost. So what is the reason why this has happened? The vitiligo seems to occur when the immune cells, your own body's immune cells, destroy the cells that make this pigment, brown pigment called as melanocytes. Melanocytes are present in all the skin cells and they produce this brown pigment. So, because of this destruction, because of an autoimmune problem, autoimmunity means the body produces antibodies, antibodies against some invading bacteria, virus or microbe and these antibodies actually attack some healthy tissue of your body thinking that it is a foreign body. Because just because the structure of this healthy tissue is similar to that particular microorganism. So the problem is autoimmune. Vitiligo may appear at any age and there is an increased rate of this condition in some families. So it can be associated familial. The genetic predisposition is there. It is also commonly associated with other autoimmune diseases auto and other immunity related diseases like Edison's disease, thyroid disease, pernicious anemia and even diabetes. So if you have diabetes, thyroid disease, it's more likely that because of that autoimmune disease predisposition, you might even have vitiligo sometime in your life. Now, what are the symptoms? Symptoms of vitiligo include flat areas of normal feeling skin without any pigments which appear suddenly or sometimes gradually over a period of time. These area have a darker border. The edges are well marked but the edges are irregular. Vitiligo most often affects the face, the elbows, the knees, back of the hand, feet and genitalia. It affects both sides of the body equally. Vitiligo is more noticeable in darker skin people because of the contrast of white patches against the dark skin and no other skin changes actually occur, no other changes occur, no other problem occurs. But obviously such kind of depigmented skin is has a devastating effect sometimes to the, to the patient's mind and life. So how can you diagnose this problem? Generally, just looking an examination of the skin can confirm the diagnosis, but the doctor can use a wood light. 
this is basically the hand held ultraviolet light that's, that causes the area of the skin with less pigment to glow bright white glow bright white so that can be used sometimes a skin biopsy can be taken to actually rule out any other cause of pigment loss some blood tests can also be done to check thyroid levels other hormone levels uh, sugar glucose levels and vitamin b12 levels so all these things are done in to actually find out whether other autoimmune diseases are also present in the patient now remember this vitiligo is a difficult thing to treat if treatment is started very early then there is a good possibility of better results so early treatment options include a phototherapy which is a medical procedure in which your skin is carefully exposed to ultraviolet light phototherapy may be given alone or after you take a drug that makes your skin more sensitive to light and this is done only 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 by a dermatologist skin specialist certain lasers may even help the skin to repigment then there are some medicines which can be applied on the skin such as corticosteroid creams or ointments some immunosuppressant creams or ointments can be used and something like tacrolimus or pemicrolimus and then topical drugs such as methoxaline may also help sometimes but if it is bothering you too much skin may be moved from a normal pigmented area and placed onto the area where there is pigment loss a graft can be done plus there are several cover up makeups or skin dyes which can actually mask the vitiligo so you can talk to your doctor about these products also in very extreme cases where most of the body is affected the remaining skin that still has pigment may be depigmented and this is a permanent change that is used as a last option so it is very important for you to remember that skin without pigment is at a greater risk for sun damage because pigment melanin melanocytes have a role to play to protect you against the uv rays so you have to be sure to apply a broad spectrum uva and uvb high spf sunscreen or sunblock every time you go out and reapply it every 2 hours sunscreen can also be helpful in making the condition less noticeable because because the unaffected skin will not get darkened because of the sun so the contrast effect will decrease so use safeguard against sun exposure wear wear a hat or a broad rim or a long sleeve shirt or pants so all these things are something which you can do so if you talk about what is the prognosis it is very uh, unpredictable sometimes some areas of the skin may even regain pigment the color without even treatment but other new areas pigment loss may occur so skin that is repigmented may be slightly lighter or darker than the surrounding skin and pigment loss may even get worse over time but unfortunately there is no permanent cure for this condition because it is an autoimmune disorder you have to understand no supplement no single product from any field can actually treat it completely so i hope i have given a good information for you on this video and if you like the video do share this video and uh, those who don't know me i am a consultant physician cardiologist in yashoda super speciality hospital nehrunagar delhi ncr and this is my channel and uh, you can check out my channel for other such informative videos these are the authentic and most trusted most acceptable information from overall the world so don't forget to share these videos and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon till next time stay connected stay healthy there are so many videos for you to find kya hua so you have to be sure you bol aaja so the contrast will look better ha ah. 
सो द कॉन्ट्रास्ट इफेक्ट विल डिक्रीज डिस्चार्ज हो गया पेशेंट एडिसन डिजीज वेर योर अल्टीमेटली बाई वेर योर एड्रीनल ग्लैंड फॉर गेट अबाउट दिस 